All right, well, we're back in the shop testing out new things. Today we're testing out the Jesverde uh, power supply I got in a couple months ago. Uh, I tried it for a couple things with like electroplating and things like that. That's why uh, I have this bottle of copper sulfate. Now, instead of buying it, I want to find out how to actually make it for myself. And what I'm technically making is copper acetate. Uh, to make it copper sulfate, we just add Epsom salt at the end. But uh, just using distilled water, vinegar, salt, and some copper, um, we're going to make some copper acetate in about you know, 4 to 12 hours. The proper recipe is you got one part vinegar for every three parts water. So right now, here I have about 600 milliliters of water and then 200 milliliters of vinegar. For every cup, it's a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to mix these two together. So I got the water and the uh, vinegar mixed together, and you see it's 800 milliliters. Now for that, we're going to do roughly three teaspoons of salt. Now this is uh, kosher salt, so this is very, very coarse. Um, just going to have to mix that up a little bit. I got three in there. And what that's going to do is that's just going to really up the conductivity of this. All right, so now we got the power supply. Uh, we got our little alligator clips here. And you can see we have it uh, set. We're setting the voltage right now. You got the coarse, and then you got the oop, fine adjustment. Sorry. And they're a little finicky, but um, overall, for what it is, it, it's, it, it works. <laughs> I'm going to set this at... I'm going to set it close to 11 volts. And then to turn it on the amps, you just connect the alligator clips. And then it turns off the volts, goes to the amps, and the amps are down here. Yeah, I want to leave it at about 2 amps. That's good enough. And just uh, disconnect it. Boom, goes back to volts. And now it's all set up, ready to go. All right, right now we got our distilled water vinegar and salt solution well not quite a solution yet just gonna mix this up for about a minute got a nice little glass stirring rod all right well now that that's all dissolved we have our copper pieces right here um they've been in my bag for a little bit so i just want to clean them up they recommend vinegar but i'll also use just uh rubbing alcohol i got 91 percent and then I'm going to hit them up with some sandpaper, probably uh, 120 grit, maybe 220 grit, whatever I can find. Just want to make sure I get any uh, grease or weird particles off. All right, I got 120 grit sandpaper. Just going to really shine that up. Do the same for the other piece. Now, one's going to be connected to the positive, one's going to be connected to the negative. And the one that's connected to the positive is going to get dissolved into the solution. And that's what's going to turn it blue, or a bluish green, really. Look good enough to me. Going to give those one more wipe down. And they're good. All right, as you can see, I got the green is the positive, the black is the negative, and I'm just going to dip it in the solution. Make sure they don't touch, so I'm going to try and balance it. I think that should work. Then I got the negative going in. And you'll notice it starts bubbling almost immediately. I'm going to keep those away from each other. And you see it's slowly climbing back to 10 or 11 volts, whatever we have it set at. The amps are at 2, so it's perfect. And now we'll just watch. I'm going to come back every 30 minutes. Oops. And you're going to see how blue it gets over time. Now, I had tried this before. Whoops. And the problem was I had left it in for way too long and um, the copper just completely dissolved and I had the clips in all by themselves. Like it, it was just, yeah, it was a mess.
That's a fun little project if you want an electroplate at home and you didn't want to wait for your own stuff. You can make it with simple household items, distilled water. You can get that anywhere. I actually always thought that distilled water was um, filtered water until I went to CVS one day and saw bottles of it and said, oh, okay, I must be using the wrong thing, which is why I wasn't getting the right results. Okay, something I want to point out is, yeah, I was never supposed to let the alligator clips be in the solution. It was right after I turned off the camera, I realized, oh, I think I might have done something wrong. Um, so I just emptied it out to about 500 and um, raised it up. I cleaned off the copper again, put it back in, and now you can see the amperage is really dropping. Now, another thing you want to do with this is you really want that water warm. And that water's been sitting in my basement for a while, so it's probably pretty, pretty chilly. I don't like it when the amperage is dropping that much because it's not going to produce. Um, it may take longer, but it won't push the, um, the voltage that I have it set to. All right. Give me about now a minute. I'm going to go warm that solution up. Okay, that's the trick, because I want it to be in uh, CC, constant contact. Uh, uh, I'll figure that one out. Oops, see, now it dropped. But it was up there for a while. I'm going to see what happens. I might actually drop the voltage. I wanted to see if I dropped the voltage. I can't set the amps like this. They have to be touching, and I don't want them to touch. Well, we'll just see what happens right now. You got at six volts. It's at 0.8 amps. It's set for, I think, three or four. Um, the funny thing is, I can actually see that thing get blue kind of quick. After this, we're going to plate something. I, I don't know if I can actually plate this uh, 3D printed part, but... Um, somebody said if I put some sort of metallic spray paint or something on it, that it would work. Oh, good. The amperage is going up. Okay. So I want to say the cold water was a big factor in this. This looks the most promising, so I'm going to leave it at that. We'll check back in 30 minutes, but that's where the color it looks. This is probably after, I don't know, five, six minutes. And making sure that the water was uh, warmer. All right, so right now it's uh, 4.30. That's about a half hour, and this is where we're at. I did up the voltage just a smidge to about, as you can see, 8.65. So it made the uh, amps go down a little bit, but they're climbing back up slowly. Um, wow, I really want to say maybe in four hours I'll have a good solution that I can possibly electroplate with. And I just have to remember what I had to cover a plastic piece with to electroplate it. Worst case scenario, I got plenty of steel around. Um, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool to use a 3D printed part. But uh, we'll be back at uh, 5 o'clock. All right, 5 o'clock, I actually took out the copper plate, and then I had to wipe it down because it had a whole bunch of gunk on it. I thought I got that on camera, but of course I didn't. Uh, so I just put them back in. As you can see, the amperage is going a little crazy. Volts are saying at uh, 8, 8.5 eight volts. Uh, I'll see you at 5.30. We'll see what it looks like then. All right, I actually went four hours. It is 8.30. Uh, kind of took a nap and then ate dinner. But uh, this is what I got in, in here right now. You see the negative? Uh, negative's clearly the black one. Um, how it's got all that, like, copper crystals type thing to it. I'm assuming that is attracting everything that's dissolving from this copper plate here on the positive. Uh, not 100% sure, I mean, maybe somebody else can explain that to me, but as you can see, it is a nice blue-green. Um, so right now, what I plan on doing is I'm going to take out that negative, I'm going to wipe it down, um, I'm going to clean both of them up, and by that I mean I'm just going to um, sandpaper them with the 120, and then I'm going to put them back in probably for another four hours. I want to see if I can get this a little bit darker. And that's kind of the copper crystals left over from, left over from that plate. 
That uh, oh, it really looks really nice. I almost want it to dry, but I still need this. Um, so right now I'm just going to wipe that off and clean it up and put it back in. All right, so I got the positive and the negative. And all I'm going to do is just really wipe it off. The, um, the positive feels so weird. It's, um, it's pitting. I don't know if I can get that. Okay, yeah, you can see it's pitting. Um, and that's obviously it dissolving. So, I don't know. I'm still going to sandpaper it. But uh, this one, this looks so beautiful. Maybe when it uh, accumulates like that again, I'll try and save it. Uh, that's on, right? Yep. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Get the sandpaper. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do much for the pitted one. I'm not going to really scrub it. I got a little, a little shine to it. You can see it. I guess the negative is the one I'm really going to try. All right, the negative looks great. The positive, uh, you know, shiny. I mean, what bums me out is I have all of that. So, yeah, I got to dump that out. I got to strain that. I'll be right back. Well, that was better than expected. I didn't think it, I thought it would uh, all come out. So this is what the solution looks like right now. As you can see, it's pretty blue-green. Um, I'm not sure how dark it's supposed to look. I mean, that's copper sulfate back there. And I don't know how Epsom salt in there is going to make it turn really blue. But I think I'm going to put this on for four more hours and see what happens. All right, got it all cleaned out, put back in. All right, it looks good. Amperage is holding up for a bit. Let's move this over here. I love this reaction. Now, I, got, I have a window open and a fan going on. Uh, it should really be very well ventilated. Let's see in about four more hours how much darker it gets. Um, I wouldn't want to leave this for longer than 12 hours probably uh, because last time I did that, like I said, the copper just completely got eaten away in maybe about 20 hours. Excuse me. And then the alligator clip fell in the bath. And while it was uh, running, it completely ruined my entire solution. So... Learn that one the hard way. I probably need to warm up the bath a little bit. Oh, sorry. It's probably about 25 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius. It could use some warming up, but I'm just going to leave it alone. It's, it's doing a fairly decent job. It's blue-green. It'll definitely plate. It'll probably take a little bit longer. Um, but this is just all trial and error. Hey... Ruined my first batch. The second batch, it's definitely going to be better. Um, just how much more? We shall see. All right, it's been about eight and a half hours. It is 12.30. Um, all right, so it's still about six and a half volts. Three quarters of an amp. I mean, I would have liked to have seen that higher. I don't know if I need more salt, if I need that to be warmer for the water. Um, I mean, it is blue. It's definitely copper acetate. So that's pretty cool. And that's the, let me see, hang on. And that's the positive. Take that off. It looks a little thinner down here than the, um, like the parent metal. But. Not too bad. That's cool. I'm going to put that down. Now for the cooler one. Just want to drop a lot of the crystals. So we got for the negative right here. I'm going to see if I can just lay that flat and not mess anything up. I want to see if I can get that to dry. If I can, I'll leave that in the um, one of the comments. Okay, so now this is what we're left with. Pretty blue. Um, that's definitely gonna that's gonna copper plate some steel. I'm gonna do that first, but I will see what I need for the 3D printed rings. 
Uh, and my buddy print those up. It just seemed like a cool thing to try. All right, so now let's turn this off. All right. So Jez Verdi uh, power supply, perfect for electroplating and making my own solution. I'm gonna try something else this week. Um, for the cost, you can't go wrong. It the knobs are a little finicky. The um, sensitivity on the low one is really annoying. Um, and then on the coarse one, you can't get it. It's not fine enough. It's just really all over the place. Um, takes a little getting used to. All in all, it does its job. It's 30 volts, max 10 amps. Um, heck of a machine. I suggest you get extra alligator clips when you do buy this machine. Because if you're like me and you just kind of start a project and then walk away, bad things happen, you need more. Yeah, I'm going to sift this stuff out. And then I'll show you the final product in one second. And there you have it. We got half a jar of uh, copper acetate. In the next video, we'll actually try to electroplate something with that. Um, I have copper sulfate just in case it doesn't quite work as well. This was really showcasing this uh, power supply I got. That, and I just wanted to do a funky, cool project. Um, I like to be down here and act like a mad scientist, especially when I just got a cool new beaker, too. Uh, I'm a dork. But, um, yeah, things pretty sweet. Highly recommend it, especially if you're going to electroplate. Um, it doesn't, it wasn't that expensive 30 volts 10 amps it can do a lot of different things um if you want to go a step up then you're talking about hundreds of dollars but for uh, i can't even tell you what it cost me um but i know it wasn't that expensive so just remember get an extra pair of alligator clips and uh i recommend some glass jars if you're going to try this you don't want to use plastic when you're um trying to create your own solution so that's it We'll see what this solution can do for the uh, next episode when we electroplate something. Um, all in all, I call this a success. That's about as dark as I got the other batch the first time I tried this video. Um, that was, of course, before I put the alligator clips in there and just completely killed it. But, uh, yeah, I have high hopes. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next episode.